Good day, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. A pleasant day. I'm greeting you from the Bahamas, the place where God lives. Our late mentor, my, my late mentor, Dr. Miles Monroe, um, I used to call him Pastor Miles, used to say that phrase every time he preached or he taught. Uh, he was an ambassador for the Bahamas to the world. And more importantly, he was an ambassador to the kingdom of God. And he always used to say, greetings from the Bahamas, the place where God lives. And today, at Bahamas Faith Ministries International is our faith, is the phrase that we actually use even in, in the news updates. Well, as you can see on my screen, I'm going to be speaking on the power of praise from the kingdom perspective. My name is Professor Mirugia Hernandez, and I worship at Bahamas Faith Ministries, and I am a part of Bahamas Faith Ministries International family where I directly serve. So um, normally, my job would my job would have been that of an interpreter at a conference. I had the privilege of being the Spanish interpreter of the late Dr. Miles Monroe for many conferences. Uh, conferences organized by the International Association of Kingdom Churches, ICANN, or and also by ITWALA, the International Third World Leaders Association. And some of these um, events um, were kingdom training seminars or global leadership forums. Um, in some cases, we had the Global Leadership Summit. It was, a it was a pleasure and a privilege to be a part of those events, working actually. Uh, it's amazing how you learn as you work because you're, you are from the inside. Also, I had the privilege of um, being a part of various marriage retreats for leaders um, as part of the, the team who was working to train them. And um, one of the most important um, uh, trainings uh, that I would have um, been a part of is a leadership mentorship program conducted by Dr. Miles Monroe himself. So um, I'm telling you this just for you to understand why the reason why I was selected to speak on this topic. And while I'm not part of the praise and worship team in my church, um, I do. Uh, lead persons into worship um, every Sunday because um, I minister at the in at the virtual church uh, in Spanish. So uh, everything that's happening in the sanctuary in English, I have the privilege of using the gift that God God gave me, the professional gift that is, um, because um, I'm professionally trained to be a translator and an interpreter. But God is now allowing me to use it to the for the kingdom. Now I want to start with um, an eye opener. We we have we have been entertaining idols, my brothers and sisters. Um, I have been guilty of that too. You have been guilty of that. Our families, um, relatives, some pastors, leaders, we all have been guilty of this, and we don't do it on purpose. We, we have worship athletes, but now we have been separated from those idols. Um, it's almost as if God is saying, do you want to worship athletes? Well, I'll close the stadiums. Do you want to worship musicians? Well, I close the movie theater and the civic centers and all the spaces where you go to worship these people. Do you want to worship actors? I'll close movies. Um, theaters. Do you want to worship money? I'll close the market and, and crash the stock market. And the sad part is that we have in some occasions refused to go to ch church to worship God. And um, things have been happening for the last three months in a way that we cannot even go to church to worship God. Now we have to uh, embraced the virtual reality of the, the world in which we are living. I wouldn't say the new order because I refuse to uh, receive that. That is not what God um, mandated in 
according to his word. But for the time being, we have to um, use the genius that God gave some men to invent internet um, to, to use it for his glory. I want you to remember that, that, that Satan is, is known to be um, the prince of the air of media. Um, he was, as we know it, the leader of worship uh, before he was separated from God. And um, I want you to understand that while goodness and mercy teaching ministry has been putting together an awesome program, um, a lot of um, technical difficulties have been encountered. And um, I want to ask you to, to, to help me to pray for this ministry um, uh, that um, Mr. Tai Ojo has been um, given the vision to, to, to bring forth. And in prayer, we, we have believed. And, and it's a good thing. But um, can you imagine? Um, Tai is a worshiper. And he is using his gift to worship God online which is basically like using the enemy's grounds to fight him so i hope you understand that if if difficulties have been uh, encountered it's basically because we have to do much praise and worship and 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 and, and do warfare in the spiritual realm because we have been reduced to communicate in the same means that the enemy has been deemed to control by his self-title because we can take that back. But in order to take that back, we need to understand praise and worship from the kingdom perspective. So speaking about those idols, in, in, Chronicle, in Second Chronicles 7, 14, and I'm quoting the um, NIV, uh, the scripture says, if my people who are called by my name, that's you and I, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal, heal their line, like cure, like no more disease. So definitely we have to praise and worship, but we, more, more importantly, we have to repent than pray. We've been praying for solutions for the, the pandemic, but this scripture has the solution. That means if I understand this scripture, and if you and I um, commit to the scripture, the words in it, then this is actually saying that if, if we, so that is a condition, we must humble ourselves. That means we have not humbled ourselves enough. If we pray, that means we have not prayed enough or Perhaps we are not praying in the way we should because we like to say, oh, God, give me this. Oh, I need that. But um, there's a way in which you come to, to, to the king's court. It, it, back in the days, you, you, you couldn't just walk inside the, the palace. You could have been hanged for doing that. You were supposed to do it in a manner. And if you came and announced, you know, you had to pray or, ex or wait for the king to extend his scepter. So, um, our God is the ultimate king. So you just don't go and pray a quick, a, a, a fast food prayer and expect solutions. So we must humble ourselves, pray, then seek his face. That goes deep as adoration. That's worship. But if we do that and we do not turn from our wicked ways, we might as well don't do the other um things that God is asking us to do because they come together. And then if we do all of the above, then God is saying, then I will hear from heaven. So that means it doesn't matter how much you're praying or I am praying or we are praying collectively or in agreement. If we don't humble ourselves, pray and seek God's face and turn from our wicked ways, that means our prayers have been hindered. That's why you and I have to have this conversation about praise from the kingdom perspective, because we need then the promise. The promise is that God is saying that if we do all of those things, he will forgive our sin and heal the land. 
So that means if we want to see some healing, if we want the pandemic to go away, we have the solution right here in the scripture. So I want you to know that um, today um, I'm going to give you a short message because tomorrow we will get deep into this word. We are going to understand what is praise. We will understand also um, what is worship. We also will understand um the difference between praise and worship um we will also understand how to worship and then i will ask you some questions because um but, but by the end of my teaching tomorrow i will want to know how, what kind of praiser are you and we will be talking about the seven types of praise so that you understand how you're going to praise to get answers to get answers so tomorrow we will be talking about some things um pertaining to the kingdom i would be asking you if you believe in god if, if what is the kingdom to you if you're a kingdom citizen what is the bible to you um what do you think is the function of the kingdom what is even the function of your church because those are questions that that sometimes we have had misconceptions in our in our mind because we like to, we like miracles because we are lazy Christians. Lazy Christians like miracles because, because miracles do not require work, you know? But when you praise, that requires work. You worship, that requires work. You pray, you fast, you share the word of, word of, of God. You then, start living according to the mandates in the scripture and then definitely you are a kingdom citizen and believe me my brother and sister when you're a kingdom citizen you have a a job to do you have a job to do which is to share the gospel so until tomorrow i will leave you with these um, questions i want you to to think about these um these answers and um and I want you to know that um, the solution is right here on earth. People are looking for answers. My late mentor, Dr. Miles Monroe, used to say, there's no lack in heaven. Money has not escaped earth. And he always used to say to the mentees, when you give pe people what they need, you will always have what you want. Are you giving people what they need? Are you being selfish? Because if you're being selfish, then that's it. It stops there. Dr. Dave Boros, who is now a senior pastor and has been one of the founding fathers of, of Bahamas Faith Ministries International, um, formerly used to be the youth leader. And of course, now um, um, he's leading us on into the mandate. He uh, continuously repeats that the resources from earth are still here. He said money didn't go anywhere. And he repeats over and over that the money is still in the hands of those who have been keeping it. And he has been inspiring us and giving us teachings so that we understand as kingdom citizens, citizens that we must operate in our purpose to access what is on earth for us. But we must abide by the kingdom principle. And finally, I want to, I would like to quote um, Pastor Alan Monroe, um, brother of the late Dr. Miles Monroe, who has been my, um, my mentor, my, my, my father, uh, my spiritual father, uh, rather, um, when I spoke to him about the invitation to speak to, uh, to, speak to you, um, including the video that I shared before, um, Pastor Alan said, find all means possible to share the kingdom message. And um, in one of the prayers that he sent, um, he sent covering me for um, this teaching that I'm sharing with you, he said, become the oracle of God and let honor and glory to be, be given to your to our eternal king. Now, remember, the solutions are here. Money has not escaped earth. The solution, the plant, the, 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 the formula to cure the COVID-19 is here. It is just not discovered because we have been so busy and distracted by the idols that we haven't had the time to, to to put together to 
do what we must to find a solution. Um, how do we know that the scientist that has the solution um, was not too busy finding food when the food stores were closed that he didn't put in the time that he needed to put in in the lab to to find a solution a bit earlier, even though it's, it's, been, it's been said that there is a solution out there. So um, I want you to understand that when we don't do things from the kingdom perspective, we will always face obstacles and we, got, we are going to be hindered. And um, we have to tap into the spiritual realm that, that, that it's at the level of the mind of God if we want to see solutions. So until tomorrow, please help me to pray for prophetic praise. Um, this event is, is going to be a great event in the future. I see this event being a huge conglomeration of praises and worshipers from all over the world uh, and teachers of the word uh, to, to teach people how to praise, how to worship. Um, they can be done together, but they mean two different things. And tomorrow we will be talking about what is praise and what is worship. Um, I could give you a hint. Praise is who God is and worship is who you are to God. I hope you will be excited to receive the rest of this teaching tomorrow. And all the love uh, from the Bahamas to Nigeria and all the parts of the world and everywhere in the world who are, who are those persons listening. I know some persons are listening in Cuba. Um, I know definitely they will be logging in. I don't know what all the countries but uh, whoever you are, thank you for being a part of this event. And I hope that you can learn from this humble servant of God, for, from, for, from what God has placed in my heart concerning this topic that I have been um, given to share with you. Until tomorrow, may God bless you, keep you, may his, his, face, his face shine upon you. And um, may, may you have hope and understand that you are a kingdom citizen. All you have to do is confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior and follow a lifestyle as one that is worthy of the scriptures. It's been a pleasure. I will see you tomorrow. God bless you.